Sagittarian. Welcome into your spiritual nourishment. I am your shaman empress, aka the shaman hummingbird. All right, this is going to be your monthly reading, love reading. Let's take a look and see what you need to know when it comes to love. So intuitively, Sagittarian, I am picking up that you guys have been cleansing your energy. All right, you could have just literally um been clean I'm, I'm hearing a clean out cleanse out this could be a detox maybe you do like smoothies and stuff too that could be it as well all right so we're gonna see what's going on with you okay some of you guys could also be connecting to a scorpio Okay, yeah, honey. Okay, so this could be someone here um, that you are receptive to. Okay, all right. Something here is real deep. Ooh, these two want to come out. What's going on? Ooh, enlightenment. Yeah, and receptive and deeply is what I saw. Yeah. Okay, so you're... Uh, okay, so there's enlightenment coming in. Whatever this is is going to affect you deeply. It's just something you're going to learn about something. Okay, so there's a bond and challenges. This could bring up a, a challenge in this month for you, Sagittarian. So let's take a look. What else is going on? Yeah. You always feel connected to this person through y'all's arguments. For some of you guys, the separations. Yeah, trust. Stay open-minded. It's here in unrequired love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Yeah. I feel like this could be a relationship definitely that you're going to learn from or bring lessons into it either way it goes. But at one point in time, you guys could have had a lot of um, chemistry when it came to this bond. But something here brought some kind of challenges. Maybe you started um, second-guessing your trust. You could even question the bond. Like, well, the more you learn about this person, the more you, you know, they share. Like, well, you know... I thought we were one way. I thought we were good. I thought we were going somewhere. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. For Sagittarius, for the collective, for the month. November for love, for the collective. All my beautiful universe and Holy Spirit. Yeah. Okay. All right, you could have also found out something, or this is something you could have even, like, recognized here. Yeah, three of swords with the, the king of cups. You might learn that someone either doesn't like you the way they used to, or this is you. Yep, the queen of swords and the king of cups is here with the three of swords. Um... The page of ones. Okay, this is clearly... I'm going to just tell you what's going on, child. Alright, there's a third party situation. The three of swords, the queen of swords, and the queen of pentacles. Is what's going on. You might have learned that you, um, someone here is bonded with someone else. Or you are bonded with someone else. Alright, um... If this is new love coming towards you, this is someone here that got a third party. So, please be careful because there's two queens. Now, um, keep in mind, we do have both energies. It could be the same sex relationship here. Uh, we got Libra, Scorpio. Right here, look. <laughs> Libra, Scorpio going on right here, child. Damn it. Don't pay me no attention, y'all. For real, y'all know. Um, Scorpio um, and Libra um, here again. Oh, my God. Sagittarius, Capricorn, Libra, and Leo. Okay. Fire sign overall. Fire energy. Okay. This is what this is. A bunch of drama this month. Five of Wands, Four of Swords. That you're either... You're going to... There's something here that's coming out. 
learning here with the page of wands here yeah you're going to either find out that this person's in a third party had you in a third party this could even be gossip about this person coming from a third party and we all know exes like to gossip. Epic. Epic. now i don't know if you're the queen of pentacles or the queen of swords i feel like you're the queen of pentacles you are someone who is very intuitive and this deck the queen of pentacles is very intuitive very grounded. This person does not like you. I mean, look at the difference between the queens and this deck to me. I've never noticed that till now. This queen of swords is... I mean, it's like her face, ding, ding, confirmation. Her expression, everything is nasty looking. Uh, her clothes is a little dreadful to me. But look at this queen of pentacles. I mean, they're both queens. Her eyes wide open. She looks beautiful. Her mantle is sitting nicely on um, her shoulder. I mean, I don't know. Uh, this person might um, be jealous of the way you look. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got to get into some things, honey. We need to get a hold on child. Whoa. Yeah. Now, someone here could be, um, have a child by this person. You could. This could even be a fire sign, baby. Show me something on this um, Queen of Swords. Someone's baby's mom here could be mixed. If this is someone's baby's mom or this person. What, what is this? Damn. You yeah, had a seven of pentacles. Honey, this person, what is looking you up? Honey, they is judging you. Ding, ding, that's your confirmation. This person has gave you a nine out of ten to her and her motherfucking friends. Yeah. Four of pentacles. This is someone here. They've been causing setbacks for you. I don't know how that works secretly between y'all guys' relationship. And but see that with what's been going, they're weird as hell because they've been looking you up. They've been stunning you, looking. I don't know. This could be them trying to figure out where you live at, just trying to figure out where you come from. But honey, every time they figure you out, you look like this. Is what they're showing me here. Let me see the Queen of Pentacles, please. And it could, there's, this is the Warrior of Cups here. I could be talking to the same sex relationship because in this deck, this is, they're all feminine, um, you know, feminine energy here. A little bit of masculine. But, um, yeah. This person, this is the King of Cups, so he got some kind of feelings and emotions towards both of you guys. Now, let's see. We're going to figure out who, what was, what's going on here. What, let me see this. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yep, I knew it. This person knows that this person secretly either wants a relationship with you or wants to come back to you. I don't know which one it is. It is so creepy to me when karmics do shit like this. But they do. This person has looked you up. I don't know. Snap. Facebook, take out resonance. Just know you looked up. This is also someone that could have even checked your background public records just to try to get more information on you. Honey, and every time they try to, they get, I heard, like, shot down. Yeah. The spirit of one. Yep, yeah, they do. Yeah. And they are mad. But it's like they're mad at you, honey child um i want to see your person let's use this deck for him child let's look at this because this is going on this is now this this person this king is in blue so this person's in communication i mean obviously he's in communication have been with both of you guys but for some of you guys this person can still be in communication with both of you guys with the three of swords here so please be careful with that and the four of swords we're going to look at that, too, in the five of ones. And that's another thing that's causing confusion and chaos in this relationship here with the five of ones and the four swords. Period. So, three of swords. That's what's in the middle. It's this motherfucker. In grades abound, they're all around. Be careful. Damn be it. Yeah. Be careful of, you know, when y'all down, they up. When um they down, y'all up. You know what I'm saying. What's this? 
Show me here. Oh, my God. Oh, and they don't like getting their energy red. This like, they don't like being questioned. They don't like um being asked. This is also someone that might not be into astrology, into signs and shit like that. Mm -hmm. But we're going to get them. What's this? Yeah, honey, because they have a lot of worries. Someone here is worried about... If there's an ex that's trying to figure out where you are or something about you, they might have looked you up, but this person knows that this person kind of wants to communicate with you. They're worried about that because they know that this person really wants to be with you. That's just, I mean, how many times? You know it's coming. Wait for it. Damn it. Yep. The six of dicks and the three of pentacles. Also, someone here wants to like hurt your feelings about something. There might even be something here. There's there's an energy here where both of you guys are around the same time. It could have been to have to do with this um, page of ones. Let's look at that. Someone here can also be younger than the other one. This could be a younger woman. Yeah, honey. It's emperor. It's good. Yeah, he lied. Someone here wants to tell you something that's a lie. If you're in a relationship with this person, someone here is trying to come to... Yeah, yeah honey. They're trying to tell you something um, here. Uh, about something that your person lied about. Shout! Damn it. Hold Damn on, it. what's going on? Damn Wait it. a minute. What's the lie? What is the lie? What's the lie? That they was going to leave you to be with them? Or this is you? Leave, you know, you know where you are in this now. Dot your own eyes and cross your T's, um, Sagittarian. Yep. And that was a lie. Nope. They ain't moving nowhere. They they are the lovers in the four ones. Either this is you, the person you're connecting to, or the person that's coming towards you, a new love that you're going to be dealing with this. So take it how it resonates with you. That's your own eyes across your teeth always and, all, um, and forever. But this is someone here. Um, they were talking to both of you guys at the same time or something here is like that. Someone here wants to let you know that and they're coming to tell you all the little fantasies and their secrets and shit like that. Yes, they are. Ten of Cups with their Prince of Swords. You know, maybe they little sexual secret shit to hurt your feelings here. But the truth is, maybe this person did... Um, deceive you. This could have been at one point in a relationship, but it's clear that this person has made a choice that they or they are still interested in you, into you, like you want you, some shit like that. And this person wants to come to shut it down. This person wants to seal it, make sure that this person ain't coming towards you. And they feel like the only way they can do this is to get you to end it because they know that this king of cups. That's why this motherfucker coming out as the warrior cup. No, damn it. Still have feelings. I want to see what the hermit is. What's the hermit? Mm. Yep, three cups in reverse. And the king of swords. This is someone that's going to act like they didn't know that this person was in a relationship. Just as the full card in the high front. Bullshit. They knew. This is someone that really knew. This is because the high priestess can also be a mistress. A mistress. She's the keeper of secrets. This is someone that is swole, mad, um, because this person is coming towards you, and either they they feel stupid. I'm gonna tell you something. Someone here with someone's throat, baby, because I heard that I'm hearing that song, throat, baby, throat, baby. I wanna give it to you. Yeah, honey. Yeah, she was a throat child. She was a throat baby. I ain't say it. That God, damn. Okay, wait a minute. Damn it. <laughs> All right, let me look. Woo, shit. The baby, I'm trying to give it to you. The baby. Nah, nah, y'all. I'm done with y'all. Woo, shit. All right, I'm done. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. All right, now I need to see what else is going on with the four swords. This is here. There's a lot of, there's a, a lot of, Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. The, the, this is the thing. You don't know. You don't know about this person. Um, this person knows you don't know about them. This is also someone here. They got some kind of like cis bro secret sexual bullshit ass relationship here. Um, because this person must pillow talk about you. Because how is she this comfortable to know about you? Look you up. 
this is someone here that also tries to like downplay the situation. Or let's say you're their ex. Or someone they used to talk to. And they know that that's you. They do this. And they do this with their friends. And you look better than all these bitches. I'm just Damn saying. It. Men or women. Yeah, the three of cups. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what I tell you? The six of cups and the hangman. This person is stuck on you, honey. Eight of wands. And they think about the past between you guys a lot with the five of swords. This is someone here. If they had a chance here... Y'all will have a very strong conversation about what, what they really felt since you guys been apart or since you have left them out in a cold or since they have left you out in a cold. Someone here is, is Thoke Baby, New Thoke Baby, whatever baby, don't like you baby. Okay? And we don't give a fuck. I'm just... <laughs> um, I'm going to see something on this page of ones. I'm being pulled to this deck. So let's get it. What is this? Someone here feels this big. Just a page of one. Okay. Yeah, I told you. All three of these hood rats. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, honey. Mm -hmm. And someone here competes with you. I knew it. I told you. And I'm going to tell you something. The terror moment here for a lot of you guys that this person does. This is the this is the thing. This person is going to say a whole bunch of this and that. And they, nothing is going to really soak in. But someone here wants to hurt your feelings and say, you know, plus I'm like expecting a baby. I had a couple abortions or either I'm having an abortion. I mean, or a baby, excuse me, with the a stork energy being here. Yeah. Um, so, I heard abortion, and this is graveyard energy. Yeah. Okay. Yep, and here got a child. There's someone here, they could say, you know, um, someone here could act as if they're still pregnant. Maybe, uh, there's a secret here, honey. That's what the fuck this person was worried about. Maybe they made this person get an abortion before. Let's say this person did get an abortion. She might just call and lie and say she's still pregnant. Or it could be a masculine. Yeah, you know she was pregnant. We was going to have a baby before. You know, something like that. Or she even might still be pregnant. This person knows that that part of the baby, um, let's say, semester is terminated. But they want to inform you to hurt you. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, Yeah. What I tell you? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So just be careful to hate and break up this goddamn relationship because she, this person is bitter. And they watch you a lot. This is someone here. They want to do this quickly, honey. Um, five of Swords. And, and, and I'm going to tell you something else about this person. Um, aw. See, I don't feel bad for karmics, you know. But, you know, I... I this person does cry. And I'm going to leave it like that because I don't. I don't feel bad for karmics. Because this person chose you. That's just what it is. Or they're choosing you. Or they're choosing to still do, deal with you. It, it, it Something like that. Take it how it resonates with you. Um... So, we have 554 is your angel number. Let's get that. Angel number 554 is asking you to begin today to look after your body. This is the most significant part of your life. Oh, my. I told you. Oh, my God. Somebody here, they, I'm telling you, her and her friends. Him and his friends looked you up and they judged you. They looked you up. They could have judged your, your body or they, they were trying to judge you. Let me tell you something else, too. They could have. Let me tell you something. Damn it, damn <laughs> what else? Damn it, damn it. <laughs> what else I'm getting? You know how when the ne the new girlfriend or whatever, and let's say they still don't like the ex because they could even know this person still has feelings for you, even when this relationship was going on or however this is working, and you guys is you know got your own ass across your teeth, and they talking all this shit about you, and they be like, yeah, let me show you her, yeah, let me show you know how it be, let me show you what she look like, and they go and look at you, take a picture, and they be like. 
And it's a quiet moment because you look, you're the high priestess. You, yep, what I tell you, the princess of wands. For some of you guys, you look younger than your age. You look good. You're very attractive. And they was not expecting that. And for some of you guys, some of these friends and these old, and uh, men, men or women, yep, could have even told them that. Like, well, you know, they look kind of attractive. I mean, they don't look bad. You know, they look like they kind of got their shit together. Nine of Pentacles. I mean, even if they've been through some things with the Five of Pentacles, it looks like they hanging in there. I mean, she don't look that bad. Child, uh, he don't look that bad. That was a damn it. Yeah, honey. Child, I I'm telling you, yes. And I'm telling you, yes. Child, and for some of you guys, yeah, they do. They found you attractive. I'm not saying they, you know, these friends are like gay attractive like that. I mean, they, they, they see it. Like, okay, I can. Well, at least he ain't fuck with, or at least she ain't fucking with nobody that look like this. And they got mad about it. Damn it! Now that's some tea. Now write that down. <laughs> Child. Now let me see what this person wants to say to you, honey. Cause honey, it's clear that this person still has some kind of um let me see a little bit more in the situation for you. Then we're gonna see what they want to say. Cause it's clear, honey, that this person um still wants to talk to you. Okay. Okay, toxic un um um, behavior, people, and trait. Oh, my. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Plug, tuned in, internet, connected. Honey, they looked your ass up right on the internet, honey. Yep. And they can even see it. They're like, damn, well, yeah, okay. I mean, I guess I can see it. Child, realize? Child! That's absolutely insane. Damn it. Re realization. Awareness. Found an outcome into light. Child, I'm trying to tell you. Mm. Someone here also um could yeah child and this person knows this is the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is very intelligent. She knows. You know how you know she know y'all so soulmates. She knows it. She can feel it. Child, what I tell you, we are king and queen. Kind of love you are my sunshine, honey. Almighty, beautiful, um, universe, holy spirit, Sagittarius, you are always juicy. My fire trap, let me tell y'all, I think about you as soon as I open my eyes and reverse shut this person can't stop thinking about you. They're sorry they wasn't ready to con connect, that you deserve so much more, but the truth is, this is the king of cups, this person wants to give you so much more. My love for you is eternal, there will only be, ever be one you, honey child. And that is game. Damn it. You're stressing me out. Now let's get you some overall messages and it's stressing this person out. Yep, because they know deep down and sad, honey, very deeply that their ass is about to get let go. Damn it. <laughs> Shit. Sagittarian. I don't know if this is you or the person coming towards you new in your love or what you are going through, child. But this is some... um. Y'all be having that tea. Yep, here it is. Obstacles and boundaries. This is an obstacle that's about to happen for somebody because some boundaries is about to be set because someone here, they know where they want to be. Attraction. Someone here, they can't deny it. They are attracted to the person. They want this person. They see this person as a child, as a soulmate. They know this person provides them with true happiness. They can feel it. And what I tell you, escapade, vacation, hideaway, and adventure. With the hermit, this could be even be ghosting energy. This person might say what they got to say, whatever that is, whatever it's going to be, and that's going to be it. And someone might not never see this person again. They're going towards happiness. Why would they come back? This could be you. What I tell you, you guys know I pull my decks intuitively, so I read them intuitively, listening to wisdom. they going, whatever the last four or five words this person could say, might be, you know how you listen to the last words or you remember the last thing, the last thing that person said to me. Yeah, honey. Yep, meditation to dig deep is going to be deep as hell. And I told you, somebody here is going to be some deep shit. This might be some shit where someone hold on what they always wanted to say something. And that's something they're going to say right before they walk away. 
Hold on, let me let me let, let me shout. But the Five of Pentacles is here. Yeah, honey. This masculine energy, this emperor. Somebody going to hear what this person got to say before they walk away. And that's the last thing they're going to say. That's Mars energy right there on the emperor part. Aries energy as well. Emperor energy. Mm-hmm. Just know it. Someone here just got a tattoo. It could be wrapped up. Oh, this one. Oh, my gosh. I'm telling you. Whatever this going to be said here is going to be the realest Damn shit ever. It. Ever. Somebody could possibly hold on to it for, like, ever. Sometimes it's like that. I um, hate to say that. Yep, transformational and change. There's a change coming, honey. It's transformational. Yep, except love. Someone here has been changed the game up. Child, they going towards love. Um, I'm going to see what other signs you are connecting with, Sagittarian. Ooh, okay. All right, this is what fell out in the floor for you. This is falling all over the place. We got Aqua Arian here. We got Pluto. This is big transformation, Scorpionic energy here, honey. Um, Geminin is here. I did not say Leo. We got the fifth house on the show up. Scorpio um, there again. So you could be connecting with the Scorpio down in the aqua areas. These could be twin flame journeys. You could also have the same sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node energies. Doesn't have to be the same sun sign. You can also have Aquarius in your um, Pluto or 8th, 5th house or Gemini. So make sure you are looking at those readings and pulling up your chart. Also with the four sign placement that's linked in the description box will bring up your full birth charts and your sign placements. Alright guys, um, we are going to leave it there. Okay, I love you all. Stay dope. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share to the channel, hit that bell, hit all. I want to make sure that you get all the content that is released. Don't miss any of your messages. That is right. All right. Um, that is how you stay connected. All right, energetically wise. So when you are coming in, you're seeing your message as a part of this message resonates. If not, if the whole message does. Okay, Scorpion, next time on your next video upload, I'll show you in a month.